Hello everybody, Fanboy here, and I'm with the sheep, and we're playing Saint Row. Uh, quick... Welcome to Game Theory. <laughs> Not That's just what my brain came to when you said hello everybody. Welcome, yeah. Except it's, he it's says only hello a... internet, never mind. Only, yeah, well, oh, oh, it's just a theory, a game theory. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Did you know... Sorry, never mind. Go ahead. Before uh, we get go down to this, uh, I just want to explain this game to Sheep since he has no idea what Saint Rose is. Me is it, it baffles me, Sheep. This is the best gangster game of all time, like hands down. Oh. Better. Like, I don't think I've I would ever say, played any gangsters games. I would to be say, fair. yeah, I would say this would be a competitor to GTA. Like, it's good. Yeah, it's really good. <sighs> The only thing I know is I think in one of the Saints Row games, you're like the president and can to decide to cure cancer or something else. Uh, that I don't know. That's the fourth game. The four, th that okay. That's yeah, the that game. makes sense. But the, the, <laughs> fir the first and second game is real, real shit. Like it had its humor in the first and second game. It had its humor, but it was it always kept serious. Whereas in the third game, right. it, diluted, it diluted itself to just humor and took off the serious part. This game right, was understand. based off like real like in this game, you're actually a gangster and like pretty much life is tough in this game. And right, understood. So like you have a lot to do in this game. I I'll ex probably explain it as we play, but this is like the best gangster game of all time. This came out like. This came out when the Xbox 360 basically came out. This was a launch title, I believe. And, like, right. people were blown away by it. Like, it, it, this was, like, the shit back then. Oh, it looks pretty good for a launch title. Yeah. Yeah, the graphics I... obviously didn't age as well. But, like, this game, it still lives up in gameplay still. Uh, I bet. Yeah. So. I remember... <laughs> I remember Sonic 06. That was a launch title for the 360, and that looked weird. Looked like right. everyone looked like mannequins in that game. But I, I don't. I guess I don't know any other launch titles though for the 360. I'm going to, to compare to. I'm going to click on new game because we can talk while I create our character. Because you can actually create your character in this game. Okay, that's that's pretty cool. Um. So yeah. We can be a Caucasian, African American, Asian, or Hispanic. Now, I will say, choosing one of these four can actually change just the player's voice. Though the player doesn't speak much in this game, so there is there is just times where he does speak, but I won't spoil those time when he speaks because they're like the best parts of the right. game. So you'd be like pivotal moments, man. Yeah, what, what, what would you want our character to look like? What do you think? This is a weird decision. I, I don't... <laughs> I don't... I'm not sure how to decide someone's race. I'm not sure what metrics to make the decision by. I honestly just, like, close your eyes and, like, just pick one randomly. Alright. I'm gonna close my eyes. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Like that. Asian? Yeah, there we go. We got it. <laughs> really going with Asian? I don't even know what the Asian voice sound like. What? What? What's wrong with it, huh? I don't know. Uh, what? Yeah, right. you don't know. There we are. Yeah. What should we it's name him? The clue <laughs> oh, we can name him. I, I don't know. Wait, can we? That I don't know. No, okay, no, we can't. I think he's just refer as refer to the player, the player. Oh, like actually the player, like the name. Oh. Wow. Okay. I'm looking at the other options because I forgot to actually oh, change okay. it completely. Kind of like the African American. Not gonna lie. I got no No, I actually might. I might actually choose with this one. I'm thinking wow. either Caucasian or African American. They look cool. I'm sorry. <laughs> wow. You know what? All right. I can, I can respect it. Uh, you know what? With this one, we can play any money mode. Any money mode. Cause sorry, but we always gotta go. Any money. Uh. Cause you're talking about 
to do all this other go in my Nemo. Okay, I guess we're being Caucasian. Uh, so yeah. Wait, wait, you did it again. What? You did it again, and it happens to land on Caucasian. No, Asian <laughs> was the first result. <laughs> Asian was the first result. Why Asian? I don't... It was the. Oh my. Oh, oh my God. What a great start. <laughs> Racism. <laughs> well, I just want to be. I, I I just want to be these two, and I did any money mo. We landed on Caucasians. Yes. So everything we did was pointless. <laughs> Are you? I I don't even know what to say right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm this, disappointed. This is the viewers. This is the viewers. <laughs> <laughs> Full left looks sad. Ooh, we can mess with his brows. Oh man, they should have not given us this That's power. Uh. So yeah, with this game, it's pretty much uh, you you start off basically. As a basically a street boy, that's basically it. Right. That's all I'll explain it for that. But yeah, what were we talking about before we started the game? It was a. Uh... If we did pick the Asian option, you probably would have been like Ching Chong, Bing Bong the whole time, knowing you. Racist. <laughs> uh, never. <laughs> That's a joke. You're not the friend I have that says the N word all the time. That's 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 Dawson. But never mind. He he, he does it as a joke though. He does it. Look, let me tell you about him. You've met him before, but he like says it as like an edgy joke all the time. Like literally, probably every like once a conversation, and then like one time he started recording because I don't know. We were trying to record something. I don't remember. And I just said immediately, like, Dawson says the N-word. Say the N-word again, Dawson, or something like that. And then he's like, wow, that's not cool, man. Like, you reap what you sow, Dawson. You reap what you sow. Anyway, I don't think he's racist. <laughs> Everyone, when they heard Dawson was racist. Yeah. <laughs> Their eyes open up. <laughs> open up, man. <laughs> anyway. You asked what we were talking about well, before this. Well, uh, we did try to do something like that. Like, so the idea of uh, us just, like, the cool thing about us just playing a game, well, fanboy in this case, is that we could probably talk about, like, things from other Farmcast episodes that are relevant to that, or, like, things, other thoughts we had that could be uh, per pertinent to that. <laughs> And we tried to do this with, uh, I haven't played Red Dead Redemption either, so he was, like, playing that, and I was watching Blind 2. But apparently that, like, video file was lost or something. <laughs> but that time, we were, uh, that was, it was really cool at that time, because we could talk in more in-depth about the Heartbreaker debate, if anyone watching this even knows what we're talking about. And, uh, there was something important we talked about then, but I vaguely remember it now. I, I vaguely remember Heartbreaker even exists, but, uh, yeah. D just to recap that, because, I don't know, I, I guess it's what I'm interested in. Uh, on one of our comments, Heartbreaker, uh, on the first episode, he Heartbreaker left, the his, first left episode a comment. Of the farm cast. Yeah, well, now this is going to be complicated, so, uh, I I'm going to assume you know who like EFAP is or Dishonored Wolf was. You know, it doesn't yeah, yeah, matter. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. matter. I do. We're okay. I, I know well, pretty much yeah. the small stuff. Right, right. I, I was talking to the hypothetical audience watching this. Um, oh. Okay, let's just. Okay, no, all right. Let's just say uh, a podcast existed and where actually <laughs> the, uh, a heartbreaker called us amateur EFAP. And that, that was, like, what I titled the video when we talked in. So EFAP existed, and then we became amateur EFAP, basically. Which, and then, uh, yeah. what, And one of the members... Well, family doesn't even know anything about EFAP, but that's not the point. One of the members on EFAP uh, basically left the show and left you on YouTube due to dep depression at the time. And um, someone commented on our first video, basically, like, I don't care if you have depression, man. 
Just tell me if you're gonna make videos or not. Stop being, stop, stop making videos <laughs> sometimes and not other times. Heartbreaker. <laughs> yeah, the legend. <laughs> and then, I, uh, uh, fan. When I told fanboy about this, I remember it. He got, he was a, uh, he was passionate. He was offended by it. I would say, and I was also offended by it. So we we got to a Discord call with him at some point, and that was an episode. He said empathy is for fucking retards, which is, like, the main thing I even remember from that episode. And uh, I was actually trying to be, like, he was, like, in our Discord server, which I guess if anyone wants to be in that, I don't know, just ask, I guess, but I doubt it. Anyway, and uh, he's very dishonest, like, just from memory. One of the things he did is like we we tried to make like we made like amends in the debate and like we we uh, we just we kind of kind of do just like we try to like watch a dumb like rap video defending the last Jedi with him at the end as like a nice little happy ending. He like and then when like Holdo is on the screen, he like says, "Gosh, <laughs> guess what." <laughs> On, like, Facebook, I saw a post saying Holdo was non-binary. And I think we just asked, oh, wh when did you see that? What? And he was like, I, it was months, it was years ago, alright? And I think, like, we asked again, oh, but, what? Like, oh, can you show us this? And like, what? What? You're starting again? You arguing again? And then, like, yes. I dropped it for a minute. I dropped... Sorry, go ahead. Yes, we were. <laughs> Which, for one, I can't... I couldn't really explain it, but I swear that's, like, a really dishonest tactic of, like, oh, you're trying to just start an argument with me again when you were just asking a question, but I dropped it for the moment, but then, like, asked again right when we were about to end the video, and he's like, oh, I just lied... Oh, I just lied to you. But it was a white lie, though. It was a white lie. And, and like, oh, wow. That kind of ruins your integrity. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> yeah, and he's quite the person. Why he felt the need to lie about that in the first place, I have no idea. But that's just one example. And he would, like, start weird fights in the Discord server. Or not even fights, just weird arguments in the Discord server all the time. And I, uh, I, I, at some point, just, I, I told him, dude, I'm sorry about this, but I don't think, I don't think I can have you in the Discord server. Um, I think I pointed out, oh, I'm starting to remember now, this is what I was wanting to talk about, it's coming back to me. He, um, in the debate, he said, what did he say, what did he say? He's yeah, it was, um, he said, he was trying to defend the, uh, saying, I don't care about your depression, by saying... Yes, yes, this is it, this is it. Um, he, he said, when I said I don't care about your depression, uh, Wolf, I actually meant that I was speaking as my younger self, okay? The new self, I don't think that now. I was a terrible person when I was young. I was, I was speaking as I used to think, right? But then I pointed out to him right before I um, uh, 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 banned him from the server, I, I suddenly had a eureka moment. I re in his same comments, which I think is actually still on the first video, he says, like, fuck you, woof, speaking very in the present tense. And I pointed out, like, he, it, it was very clearly, he wasn't speaking about his past thoughts. And I pointed that out to him. And then, and then on YouTube, he just comments to me, hey, I think we should just go our own separate ways about this. And he doesn't address the point at all that I said, that he's a liar. And his one defense, his one defense for his terrible, the, the terrible things he said, he doesn't address that at all. He just, he just says, all right, maybe we should just go live our own lives. So yeah, yeah, there you go. That's what I wanted to talk about, but we never really got the chance to. So anyway, um, yeah, yeah, heartbreaker. Heartbreaker, everybody. Heart Dishonest piece of shit, but I guess that's all about that. You can move on now. Yeah, there, there. That's our thoughts behind that. If you guys were wondering after that video, which you know, to build up lore, sure. 
It was pretty, pretty all right. Now, the question is, what what is this hair gonna look like? Um, I like the purple color. Go with uh oh. the. Oh boy. Hmm. Hmm. The bald, <laughs> the bald option might be yeah. funny. I don't know. Hmm. Kind of want him to look like a dickhead. Yeah. Like you? What do you? Yeah, you would be like a snot nose fuck, right? Oh, yeah. Um. Braided dreadlocks. How about there's like one that's like Eddie Brock hair, right? Eddie Brock that's hair. That's kind of like uh, that's kind of like rectangular, like close to that. I don't know. I think I know. Do, 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 do. <laughs> that's the <boring. laughs> Where is it? Could be around here somewhere. There was like a meme of like they were uh. Like people filming uh, uh, Toby Maguire like in an airport, and he was giving them like the death glare, Something and they like played like the Black right? Spider Man thing. Yeah. Oh, that, 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 that. Yeah, here it is. Yeah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> On a side note, it's a funny coincidence. Dawson was actually like in the beginning of the Heartbreaker episode, but he didn't say anything. That's because Heartbreaker, like, started an argument with him. Yeah, you know, like, what he did is I think Dawson and I were having some sort of conversation, and then Her Heartbreaker just inserted a, a meme that said, uh, that's pretty cool, champ, but next time, keep it to yourself. And, like, because we said something, like, weird to each other as a joke. So, I don't know, something about Greece or something. <clears throat> And then, then I pointed out, like, oh, are you saying this to us? And then, like, no. Um, I just I just put this video in chat sometimes. It's a meme that says, it, uh, yeah, it, that's pretty cool, champ, but if but next time, keep it to yourself. And I was like, I, I know what it means. It, why, why would you just put this here randomly? Like, yeah, you, can't, you can't even fess up to just, like, his, his own inane comment. I, I don't <laughs> like if he just said like uh, that could have just I don't like I don't know like it didn't need to be anything but he made it something because of his dishonesty anyway ironically um, yeah still better than Jared Genesis and probably other people that we know <laughs> Max fail the most dishonors this no honor for him Max fail that yeah, because I, I was thinking this could be the episode where we just talk about random things in the show, because I don't know, but Max That's what we're known for nowadays. Should we have... What, what yeah. should we be? What should, this guy should be fat, skinny... Oh, my lord. Wait, yeah, the Jared Genesis mod. Or skin. <laughs> hey, I'm a Jared <laughs> Genesis mod, and a Wings of Redemption mod, and a DSP mod. Look here, look at this I, I don't, you know, it's funny is I don't think any of those hairstyles like replicate Jared's hair at all. He know. had this weird Joker hair. Maybe we should <laughs> keep him on the balance for now. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me. That looks good. Skinny. Yeah, sure. Yeah, Matt. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> this sucked all my vitamins. <laughs> Alright, we should probably begin the game now. <laughs> Alright, we should probably be quiet, because the, the beginning is cool as hell. Oh, okay. So, but we can talk a bit uh, during some scenes, but like if the main, like if char so a character talking, we should probably be quiet listening to them. We gotta be respectful yeah, for yeah. the actors. Yeah, I understand. The, street, the, the first mission is called the Street of Stillwater. That's what the town is called, by the way. Although Max failed, there, oh, my. Hey man, this shit cost you six hundred dollars in the store. 
Oh, whatever. Watch it. Watch it, baby. Watch I could show you a good time. Oh, hell no. Man, fuck the rollers. Lavar, you gonna let those bitches disrespect us? Shit, what you think? Ah, oh, shit. The fuck you think you're doing? Blue and yellow. Just being civic minded is all. That's so? Yeah, some dumbass cracker went and shit all over this wall. We just cleaning it up. <laughs> oh my god. Ow! <laughs> Oh, they threw it! Oh, they threw a spray crayon at him. <laughs> Hector says buenas noches. What's funny about this game is like their colors, yellow, red, and blue. Like this game is fucking hilarious to me. I just think of yeah. like, I just think of like ketchup and mustard. So I don't know. Oh yeah. <laughs> I think of like Web of Shadows, how the two games were like they they were both just the orange gang and the purple gang. That yeah. that's how they like set themselves up. Oh yeah, Love shadows, good game. One of these days you gotta play that. Yeah. What? <laughs> oh, he came out no. Wrong time, wrong place, dog. You okay, player? Julius, let's move. I am the player. <laughs> I am the player. That don't look so bad. You should be fine. That's Troy. That don't look so bad. You should be fine. Hey. The row ain't safe no more, son. We got gangs fighting over shit that ain't theirs. And you in the way, they don't care if you represent or not. Julius, this is no time to recruit. We need all the help we can get, son. No, we need to get our asses out of here. In a minute. Look, the row's got a problem. Come to the church when you want to be a part of the solution. Hmm. So that's how it, the game starts. like the, the, the dead. I will say that's how the game starts, and now we're in like the prologue of the game. We can explore the All city right. now. We can get a uh, round of our surroundings. Like the prologue it makes you like do whatever you want before the actual game starts. But, cool. Uh, is Saints Row the city? No, Saints Row is more of a district. Like, we're oh, in Saints okay. Row right now. See, like, Saints right. Row is the home of the row. I, I I will get into the gang territory later, but this is... We own this area and only this area at the moment. Oh, cool. You, like, get, you get more of it as the game progresses. That's cool. Yeah. I'm kicking this mailbox. So, with, the, with this premise of the game, we get saved by the Dirt Street Saints. At least that's what they're called. That's what their gang's called. Right. And as you see, the blue was called the Rollers. There's like, we, we got to see all the gangs there. The red was, there's a red gang, there's a yellow gang, and there's a blue gang. Right. And, the, and there's also another gang called the Third Street Saints, which is the gang we're going to be helping and mainly be a part of. So, so all the gangs, they wear, like, r one color shirts, too, yeah, in this they, game? Yeah, they represent their, uh, colors. But, uh, it's basically like, uh, representing like, yeah. your favorite baseball team. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Always thought that would probably, you probably would try, try to, like, hide the fact what game, you're, what gang you're in, I would think. But I wouldn't know what being in the gang is like. Well, yeah, but, again, this game is... A sense of realism and idealism, but also a sense of uh, game logic, what I like to call it. It also has that game logic, you know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I know. I know. Like, this game does have realism and a bit of idealism, but it also has that game logic. Like, man, they, there's no way they can get away with this, but there's a literal, like, uh, fucking... There's something. There's a place where you can get rid of the cops, and the cops will be on your back, and you go through that place, and the cops will lose you. Like that's the kind of game logic <laughs> I'm talking. About. So yeah, this game has certain game logic. Oh. Because <laughs> you can do that in this game. Oh, you're beating up Jared in Genesis. Oh no. Yeah, fucking anyway. Jared. <laughs> How's that? You fucking spirit? I, I, you spiritually connected to my foot? 
It said it was, she, she said she was 18. <laughs> Except he's not even smart enough to say that. He, yeah, he, <laughs> he's gonna slide his way out, man. Yeah, I, for anyone watching, our last episode was like, Jared literally responded in a comment to me defending pedophilia, basically. I, I don't remember what the exact quote was, but... Oh, wait. You probably you might not even know who Jared Genesis is, unless you're like an EFAP fan, so this is actually probably very confusing, but... <clears throat> but Jared Genesis is a person who was on EFAP, who got famous off of a Last Jedi review... And is that was there. horrible. Yeah, it was very horrible. And very, he said very uh, Ray fun. killed Han. So sorry, sorry, so Please, real quick. He said Ray this. killed Han Solo in his Last Jedi review. I'm going crazy. Yeah, and that's just one of the things. Yeah, but he got famous off that, and you know, there, some there there was a before like EFAP kicked off their entire thing based off Jared's video, and yeah. he actually got uh. Into he like he was in the EFAP now. Oh, I can't be in that room. That, that was inappropriate pictures. He he, he uh he I got, can I can try to explain it if you want because I'm the one who's like watched it. He's basically um, he basically got popular off EFAP and um well. And he said he he said like you made a video once. Sorry for interrupting you, but you made a video once like the EFAP. I'm your golden goose, EFAP. You need me. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, he, continue. He basically yelled at his dad. And threatening to kill somebody on stream. So, yeah. So, uh. Um, yeah, you can find that on YouTube. Yeah, you can just look up Jared Genesis yells at dad. It will be the first thing if you're interested. Yeah. Uh, but, I'll be your ass if you come in here. Yeah, man. I'll, I'll be your, your ass, motherfucking ass. I'll beat your ass, motherfucker. I'll beat your ass, motherfucker. Don't play with I me, boy. I can get it back. Don't play with me. <laughs> yeah, I'm a real man. I'm a real man. Uh, but, uh, yeah, after that, he also <laughs> did say. Yeah, if you're spiritually connected to whatever, like, any age, basically, uh, it's all right to date them. Yeah, nine, a nine-year-old. Yeah, and... Yeah, and he was like, eight-year-old, seven... <laughs> he said it's like... He said, like, seven-year-old, eight-year-olds, 12-year-olds. If you're... If you have a spiritually connected to them, that's good on you. Like, dude, like, he's saying... Uh, he's just a pedophile, basically. He has a pedophile mindset. And he probably yeah. he probably would try to get imminent with a nine year old. I swear. Yeah. Um. Actually, I remember. Um. Someone when we in our last video, I think it was our last video where we talked about that shit. This oh, shit. Someone actually yeah, commented. Someone commented like what Jared said originally. I think. I can go find that real quick. <laughs> you okay? You're dying. Oh, this kind yeah, I'm good. okay. I'm okay. I'm representing. Right. I'm representing the blues. <laughs> Yo, beep beep, motherfucker. Oh. All right, Jared Genesis. I don't. I don't care about age. I'll date anybody. Doesn't matter. I don't follow society's rules, and you know people think ill of me for that. But it doesn't matter to me. I never cared about what people think of me. And you know, that's why Chris calls me a pedo with all these funny names. Chris is, um, Chris was the person he was threatening to murder. Like, when he, when he, uh, when he was yelling at his dad, but he literally was threatening to murder Chris. Like, it, it was, um, it went like this. Chris, you may have destroyed my family, but I will get the last laugh, motherfucker. Yeah. I, I, uh, I know where you live, Chris. I know your real Chris, name. I know your Chris real name. name. Last name. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna find you. Yeah, I'm gonna was, end you. You're saying this. <laughs> yeah, but his, his mic wasn't cutting out like a sheep was. But, but. It's not how it wasn't. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised, but. I know it was really loud. Sorry for sheep mic cutting out. Uh, it, it no, I was sense. doing that intentionally. I was doing that intentionally. Oh. I, I was trying to speak loud. <laughs> speak loud. I, I, I'm not sure if this mic I'm using right now can speak loud if you get close to it. So I'll do it again. I'm gonna kill you, Trish! I'm gonna end you! That, yeah. Anyway, so it's funny he mentions Chris here, but... 
Uh, by the way, Chris, his YouTube name was like Chris the 30-year-old boomer or something. I don't even know if he's around anymore. Also, apparently he is a Nazi. Like a real one. Like he has actual most beliefs. Okay, so note that guess, too. But I don't know. I don't know about that, but well, I know one of his friends, like apparently, like he, one of his friends made a video saying, Chris never hurt people with his Nazi beliefs, unlike you, Jared. Which I guess is true. But anyway, besides that, um, also, Jared Genesis, if you feel you have chemistry towards someone, like you know you connect in a spiritual way, then go for it. Whether they're 14, 48, 99, whatever, it doesn't matter. Also, Jared yeah, Genesis. Good on you, bro. <laughs> uh, also, Jared Genesis. Sure, 12 is cool with me. That's great, man. <laughs> the funny thing about adolescents is that they never sold their soul yet, and they still have purity in them. And if you could oh, get one dude. young like oh, that, that then. So period. Yeah, yeah, wait. They still have purity in them. And if you can get one young like that, then. Period. That's freaking great, period. You know, most times, their parents probably wouldn't be cool with that. No shit. <laughs> and, that, and that's understandable. But the funny thing is a lot of parents are so stupid, and they insult their own children. Saying, you know, well, my kid can't date someone younger because their brain hasn't developed. Because basically, it's like saying they're stupid. Okay. So, I'm sorry, but Jared writes like a toddler. He has no like commas or punctuation. This sentence is horribly written, but let me, let me, okay. <clears throat> yeah. He's saying that he's, what he's trying to say is, um, the, one of, or probably the main argument against allowing children to date grown-ups is that their minds aren't fully developed yet, and their bodies aren't, definitely aren't developed yet for sex. So, and I'm pretty sure the human brain finishes development at 25, actually. So there could be an argument made for raising the age of consent. But anyway, Jared's cr criticism of that is, Oh, so you think children oh, are oh, stupid? Oh, 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 no. oh, shit! Shit! Oh my, oh my god, we're getting jumped Jared by Jared found, fanboys. I, I mean, the... <laughs> he somehow has a few. That's weird, but... Oh my god, Probably god, more off. than we do. Also, b before, i like to also point out, again, this has something to do with the game. The St. Row is like a poor district. So a lot of poor people live here. Right. And all the, right. Like, like, the buildings are all beat up. Even this church, like, has graffiti on it and all that. Right. So, yeah. Which, is, which uh, that which is, also is going to play a big role in this game. But Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it logically would. Uh, that's cool. That's really cool detail. My insurance. <laughs> Anyway, Jared's saying, so you think children are stupid, then? And to be honest, like, yeah, I mean, when I was 12, I thought I was smart, but I wasn't. I, I, feel, I thought I was smart, like, a month ago, and I wasn't. But, yeah, for the most part, children, are, they really aren't smart enough to have full ro relationships with adults. They also don't have the life experience, either. Like, their brains literally aren't developed yet, Jared. Or our brains aren't developed yet, so I don't... I mean, I guess your... I guess to be fair, your brain might be on the same development as a nine-year-old. I don't know. Yeah, Jared. Nine-year-old fever. I think there's more. <laughs> well, I should probably okay. start the first mission. We're gonna be here all day. Well, yeah. You can... Um, Rally, my kid, my, <laughs> my kid's stupid, so I don't want them dating someone older, because they're just gonna make stupid Everyone choices, because they're do. dumb. They He's saying flying, that's right? what they parents are saying, and, um, Rollers, Carnales, Vice Kings. well, no one's making this nigga scared uh, children probably would make stupid decisions right in a romantic now. relationship oh, with an yeah. adult, yeah. but adults yeah. definitely... Uh, adults are guy? the adults doing that are all probably going to make decisions against their benefit. I, I mean, we've seen people like you before. Everyone had to do it. You ready for this, player? Oh shit! Hold on. Oh, you actually are called player. That's yeah. Okay, so I need to get canonized. So to do that, I have right. to beat up some guys, which is a, a quick way of teaching me how to fight.
in the game. Right, right. Cool. So, so pay attention. Kind of, fighting in the game is actually kind of pretty simple, system. but and it's actually a really fun system in this game. So you, the yeah. block, you just hold LT and RT in the punch. You press RT and LT. In the kick, you can actually Ooh. press uh, LB. So as long as I block against these guys, oh. get some punches in there. Should be good. Pretty sure if you lose this, you get an alternate cutscene, but I'm gonna try to win this one. Oh, you did! Oh, oh my God! You just did the splits. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> okay, I got. Oh, there's more. So you want to be a thing, huh? Oh, oh! Oh no! Okay, oh, I lost. My God, oh no! Uh. Well, I guess we get to see the cutscene now. <laughs> That's enough. Yeah. Come on, get on your feet. We all went through that. Blood in, blood out. Welcome to the Third Street Saints. Let's get down to business. Oh, hey, we're serious still about accepted. taking back the road. We gotta let those motherfuckers know what time it is. Now you break it down, and it's all about respect. Get enough of it, they're gonna back off, and we're gonna move right on in. We got some friends in town that could use some help. Give them a hand. Of course, you can always drop any motherfucker flying the wrong flag. So long as word gets out that the Saints is on the road, I don't give a damn how you do it. You feel me? Those words are actually going to be, uh, I'm pretty sure those words he said, there's going to be some hypocrisy in this game, so... That's gonna yeah. Be so we aren't you failing you. you. Alright, man. Time for you to buy a piece. <coughs> this game really doesn't um, hold your hand when it comes to, like, who's the bad guy. You actually have... You probably have... You, like, have to think for yourself in this game. Yeah, it's, like, dark. Well, it's gray. It's all morally gray. Which, I don't know. That might be why I don't really play ga uh, games this kind of, I don't know, setting. It, it, kind, of, it, kind, of, it kind, of, kind of disturbing. Yeah, it is anyway. really great because you are a psychopath in this game. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're kind of a bad guy too, but... Yeah. Just to finish the comment real quick. Also, share Genesis. I would date an 11 year old, a 9 year old. It doesn't matter. I look in the spiritual aspect of it. If I spiritually connect to someone, it doesn't matter. 99, 8, 1,000 years old, it doesn't matter. If you think ill of me for that, that's on you. I really don't give a shit. Also, share Genesis. Age is just a number. Okay. Um, so that comment was my rubber duck, uh, rubby ducky. If Jared Genesis or any of his. Clean up the rope. Oh, okay. Oh, we if Jared Genesis, for, uh... yeah, or if Jared Genesis or any of his ilk want to disprove what he said, because I guess he doesn't have proof of it. Oh, I then shut the gun. Please feel free to feel free to. Like you can come on the podcast or just tell us in a comment, I guess, whatever. What the hell do you think you're doing? Uh, there actually was something I forgot to do, considering all of this. Dog is barking in the background. Oh no. You don't mess right. around. Not right. sure if that's being heard, but. No, it's a, it isn't. You're good. Alright, so. Okay. The yellow is called the Feist Kings. Right. I'm running them over right now. Oh, <laughs> Come here, motherfucker. Are you trying to run? Come here. You don't know who you're messing Hey, if you can't handle a car, how the hell are you gonna handle a car? Come here. It's like you know how to handle yourself. I gotta try to get as much ammo as I can. Alright, come on, Troy. Get the fuck in. Let it go. This is your gang notoriety. Gang notoriety is gained when you attack an oh. enemy gang. That's a lot of gang. <laughs> so basically, you have a notoriety meter. There's a cop yeah, notoriety. And it gets higher. If yeah. You There's a police notoriety and a gang notoriety. Oh, each uh, gang will try to come at you. Basically, have a target on your head if you have these yeah. notorieties up. All right, looks like that you get more infamous, or infamous, right? Basically. Yeah, basically. Sorry for not opting you, by the way. Yeah, basically, like, see, I'm being chased right now by the Fives Kings. Nobody fucks with me. So now no. I gotta. I basically got to, um. Oh, looking for a group post. Call of Duty, Black Ops, Cold War. Yeah, I don't even play that on Xbox. Uh, anyway, go ahead. I gotta, I gotta lose the, the notoriety level. Now, here's the thing where I said the, the gameplay logic meme. We're gonna go right. to, uh, what is it called? Fucking, um, forgive and forget. 
and this will get rid of our notoriety, and they'll instantly lose us, no matter what, what? we do. What? <laughs> That's not how notoriety works. You can't just be... See, forgive <laughs> and forget allows you to remove all notoriety for a price. That's not how that works. Yeah. Oh, you just killed that person. Hey, man, now that everything's taken care of, can you drop me off at Freckle Bitches? I'm Jones for a fun bag. Freckle Bitches? The burger joint's called Freckle Bitches. Yeah, this game... This Is game, it actually called that? Yeah. Oh my god. So that was the first mission, and it was called Back to Basics. What a great mission. Now we unlocked our house. Let's go. We did it. Oh, we, getting the, we got a cell phone call. Good work, player. Word has gotten out that the Saints ain't bullshit. Now we gotta lock our rep down. What? Oh, oh. Your respect bar is located in the Gotta top lock. right corner of the screen. Playing activities earn you respect. Find the snatch activity, that icon, on the map. Press start to view the map anytime during gameplay. So, basically, to progress through the story, we need to earn some respect. And the way to do that is to do side activities. So, the game is really encouraging right. you to do side activities to finish the game. And to basically take over the town. So, let's... But, right, right. So let's do just that. Now, best thing I love about this game is basically we can choose whatever game we want to take out first. Like, we oh. can take out the red, yellow, blue. Or we could just, you know, just keep doing side activities. We don't have to take it over. Though it may, it's kind of harder when the gang owns a location. Because at, when you target one gang, they're going to be after you. Like a lot of time. Are you crazy? Right. So, but to get like districts and stuff, you basically have to um, take out the gang by doing their missions. Because each gang has their own mission, like story. Like each gang has their own story. Their own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand. And you can choose what you can yeah. even do them. Like you can like do them. You don't even have to do them in order. Like you can do a Vice King mission and then do the next gang mission. You know yeah. Yeah. And then, I assume when you do all of them, you have, like, a final story at yeah, the end. Yeah, yeah. You're right. Really cool, actually. Um, so here's the first activity. This one is not my favorite activity, but it's kind of interesting. <laughs> What's going on, bro? Julius called and said you might be stopping by. Look, you looking for a little something-something? Because if so, I can let Peggy over there give you a ride. Oh. Uh, yeah, I didn't think so. Look, brother, I gotta be honest. I'm trying to get a business started here, <laughs> but right now the only hoe I got is so fugly blind motherfuckers turning down. Now, if you could bring me back some of them fine bitches who are turning trick to other people, oh, a pen? I'd be able to start seeing some real. Hey, I know a guy. I you heard of Jerry's Genesis? He'll buy her. And I'll spread the word that the Saints are the real He has to have done like incel stuff at some point, now that I think about it, but. Oh my lord. Okay, so recruit hoes and return them to the brothel before time runs out. So yes, we are we are taking ho the brothel. We, no. we are taking hoes from the streets. No, oh my god, no. Them to work. Oh. So. Ah! Give me your gun. So best way to get guns in this game is to you know. Yeah. Uh, people. Yeah, basically. So I got a fight sign. I kind of want this one. It doesn't matter if I have that one. I brought the same. I always get mixed up because A is the drive, and I'm so used to like GTA controls where it's RT, and I keep accidentally firing my gun in the car. I I understand. I that happens all the time. Games mix up your instinct. So I did the level one snatch and I got plus one respect. See, the respect bar went up. And I can continue to do the right. activity to get more respect. Like, But it gets harder. So it isn't actually like. It isn't easy. It, it really. Like, it gets harder every time. And it's like right, sort right. of a challenge because sometimes you have to recruit like five hoes and there's only four seated cars. Pretty sure you can actually get a bus though. 
get them in the bus, but uh, I don't have a bus here. If I'm good enough for Winslow, son, I'm good enough for you. I got a shotgun. Come back, come back, ho. Oh shit! <laughs> Fucking rollers. Look, we gotta get out of here before more show. They're all. We should probably. Should, what? What should the Vice Kings be? Should they be oh. uh, DSP I... gang? Jesus, <laughs> real I actually now. left myself on mute for a little bit, so I'm sorry about that. Um, yeah, I, I like that idea. But DSP gang, Jared is, gang, yellow wings is, gang. Yeah, yellow is DSP gang. Red is uh, I don't know. I don't know. Red can be wings. Wings and uh, blue can be Jared gang. Yeah. Purple when I is the far <laughs> During the uh, during the golden age of Jared, his like his avatar was a blue was him wearing a blue shirt, and then he had like a second account where he was wearing a red shirt and it was like all aggressive. But oh my god, um. the, the, the 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 positive and the negative. You have earned enough respect to unlock new missions, and it's, now we can do more missions if we want. Congratulations! You yeah, the last level of this activity at this location. Playing this instant of the activity again will earn you money, but no respect. So if you do end up doing all the activity levels in this like area, you don't get respect in this area no more. But you will get money if you do it in this area. Again. Right, right. But again, there's gonna be Makes more sense. of that activity in other places. Rumor is an old liquor store is being used as a Carnalis hideout. Why don't you go over there and check it out? So. There's going so now we're gonna get into the stronghold system. So we're gonna go to the stronghold. Now this system was confusing when I first played, but this right. is but uh as you do missions against the gangs, they end up having strongholds, which cost respect to do. But it's basically like a bunch of people in one place, and when you kill them all and do and do the objective there, you can take over their district. It's basically, it's basically how you take over uh, parts of the city in this game. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh right, my... right. Alright, so we're gonna do our first stronghold. We're gonna do this the um, actual way. I'm not gonna do it the glitched way. There's there's a, there's a way to glitch it in here, but... I, uh... Can I, can I, can I talk about another thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do this. Something I forgot is, um, so we're chair- oh, oh! Jared, so what Jared told me two weeks ago is, uh, well, I don't know if I should read out the whole chain, but basically on Jared's new channel, uh, he made a video that, like, he made a video where he was, like, trying to, like, say he was apologizing for things, but he never said anything he was apologizing for, and he was, like, very weaselly about it, like, he said, my dad and I went at it. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh my god. And he referred to something as the incident, quote unquote. Oh my god. And then uh, <laughs> uh, and then someone left a comment saying the incident. You mean when you said you're cool with dating a child and never retracted that position? And um Wait a minute. Did Tom Jones hey, Oh my he deleted his comments! He did? Oh, don't think I got him in the farm cast video. Tom Jones is the Jared Genesis simp, basically, right? And yeah. he was saying... Oh, go Check ahead. Check the farm you. cast episode if you want to see those comments again, by the way. We still we got him on that episode. Uh, Dude, this is beautiful. Tom Jones basically said he did apologize for pedophilia. For fuck's sake, watch the video. And uh, I've... I asked him, can you point out specifically where he apologized for that? Basically is what I said, I think. And I could, like, he, Jared even said he has no regrets, and I pointed that out. And Tom Jones never responded to me. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Um, uh -oh. or wait, what happened again? I oh, no, 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 no. Tom over. Jones, sorry. Uh, and, <laughs> Tom Jones did respond to me. He said, he said it at the beginning of the video, but then he said, uh, uh, he, like, was apologizing, uh, I don't remember, but he basically said he happened at the beginning of the video, and I said, oh, really, if that's true, what did Jared say exactly? Oh, no, that's what I, 
that's my first response to him saying that Jared did apologize for it. I said, oh, really? If that's true, what did Jared say exactly? Tell me. I watched that video and don't remember any acknowledgement of pedophilia accusations at all. He apologized for feeding the... Tr oh, what? What is he doing? Uh, hold on. He's just standing there. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! And now he's getting me. He's, on. He, he was oh. stunned by Jared Genesis. He's stunned. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, where is he going? He doesn't like the water. I hate the water. Come on, man. The water is fine. <laughs> oh, I splash you! Alright. Yeah. Here. Here's my water gun. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we did the stronghold. Now we unlocked it. We got a neighborhood. Alright, but... Yeah, what were you saying? Okay, basically, um... Tom Jones said he did apologize for pedophilia. I said, really? When did he do that? And then he said that he did apologize for it at the beginning of the video. And then I said, right. But if he was really sorry, he would actually address what he did. Literal pedophilia. And not weasel around it. The incident. He also never addressed him threatening to beat his dad's ass and threatening to kill someone on stream. You know, on a side note, Jared's video after this happened, he like actually did address that. And that's when he said the, uh, my dad and I went at it. So it's very likely he actually said that because he saw my comment here. But anyway, um, uh, he does, in threatening to kill someone on stream. He doesn't own up to what he did, he plays lip service to it, but actually spends his video insulting his haters in all the ways he thinks are clever. He also says he has no regrets. Then, Jared says, which was what the last video was about, Love is love and doesn't have a number, bro. Yes, that is how I feel. Why there Y, 9, R, R, 8, or 90, it really doesn't matter, because it's not about look. Shara, you clowns took me so seriously, though, thinking I was here dating kindergartners. Must suck to be that stupid. Cheers, homie, and happy New Year's to you. Maybe focus more on yourself this year and less on hating other people. He is. He, he got us. Well, actually, no, he's wrong. We didn't say you were dating kindergartners. We said you're dating like second graders. It it is an improvement, but here's the point, though, which we uh something I forgot to do is that Tom Jones. Oh, we're, oh. Gonna, we're gonna phone call. Scoop by the church Hello? scoop us. It's time to finish this shit. Oh, we gotta go to the church. We're being called. Okay. Summoned. We're being summoned, sheep. <laughs> summoned by uh, our boss. <laughs> Who's our boss? Julius. Yeah, that's they his name. Our that's boss. Uh... Our boss, Julius. <laughs> no, wait. Who? <laughs> What's Julius's nickname? Who would he be to us? I don't. Who would he be in our story? Uh, no, we'll <laughs> get back to that. <laughs> All right, wait for um, Troy and Julius. Oh, I think I need a freeze to four seater. Hold on. Tip that there's a turf war going on right now. If we crash the party, we could take all those sons of bitches out at once. Hope you're strapped, player. Oh boy. We're about to go in hard. This mission's pretty hard. Oh, dear God. Hope I don't die. I ain't gonna lie to you. I, I believe in you, Sam Boy. Julius, you sure it's cool we take this kid instead of Johnny? Troy, you worry too much. The kid'll be fine. Yeah, so if, I'm pretty sure if you die in this game, it's shit, man, be more careful. You gotta restart the entire game, so, uh... Oh, is there no save system? I mean, uh, not re restart the entire game, I mean restart the entire mission. Oh, okay, I was confused for a second. Don't there worry, is a save man. system. You stick with Troy and me, you'll be fine. Alright, so... What? Now it's like security breach, restarting the whole game. Yeah, we, okay, so we gotta kill three gang lieutenants. This is the best time to talk about whatever you want to talk about, because I'm gonna be fucking... Alright, alright, alright. So, Tom Jones, his defense of Jared is, he, he apologizes for the pedophilia. Get over it, haters. He even said, like, us haters have to look for an excuse to hate him, or something like that. But, now that... Now that Jared Genesis has literally admitted to it, what does Tom Jones say? Nothing. 
Tom Jones, Tom, like, <laughs> Tom, Tom Jones should be disgusted by this, but no, he oh, doesn't say anything. Me. Yeah, and, but now, apparently, he deleted his comments. And I should have responded to Tom Jones, but I forgot to. And you know what? I'm gonna do it now. Well, I'm gonna try to. I'm not even sure if I can now, if he deleted his comments, but I could probably at him. Uh, probably not. Yeah, I don't think you can. That's not how that works. I'm... Uh, I don't know, maybe Tom Jones is on one of the other videos on Jared's channel? I'll check real quick. Jared and his fucking peace sign. He's so cool, man. Exactly owns these socks, and it could be the Oh boy. Or I mean the the Wingo, Wingo thing. Yeah. The, <laughs> the prodigal son has returned. I'm so glad you're making videos again, Seth Gibson. Another retard. Another another sad sap. Chief, look. He became the box. <laughs> Fucking ah, he's shooting me! Fox can't shoot! I, I can't kick! I'm actually gonna die! Tom Jones avoiding Jared being a pedophile. I'm gonna die! Tom he Jones, says, you the did this return to me. of the king. <laughs> Man, why does he, he like he actually has like a handful of fans? I don't I don't get it. Oh I'm regenerating, okay. Damn, that double chin got huge. <laughs> I'm bulking, bruh. That's what Jared said. I gotta find these comments, man, and put them in the video. People, they have to see these comments. <laughs> Jared said, I'm bulking, bruh. <laughs> Hopefully, it don't get deleted before you do. Oh, but Lieutenant. Don't, I... don't worry too much about editing this, though. Tom Jones deleted his. Apparently, another person said, uh, "No, uh, no job, same room. Refuses to take responsibility for what he did. Nothing changes." And apparently, uh, Tom Jones tried to defend Jared here too, but also deleted his comments here. So. My crew? Oh, holy shit! God damn. <laughs> Jared says. Lucifer is the biggest loser of them all, refusing to take responsibility for harming God's children. In the end, he and all who follow him will pay. Repent, Shinner, while Y9OU still have time. I forgot, Jared literally said that, like, his haters were servants from the devil, and, um, uh, he was like, God, like, God, God made sure to protect him, or something. I, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, he, he thinks he's some messiah, I don't know, or something. Or maybe he doesn't think that, but, like, he, imp he implies... He does. He implies... He does. Hardly. Like, he implies, like, really hard. That he, that, like, oh, God send me trolls after me. Like, he literally said, like, God is, like, he made sure to keep an eye out for me to protect you from you demons. Wait, how are we, like, losers that need to get a life, which is, like, his main thing against us if um if uh if we're demons and also why in the name of god would the devil or demons care about jared can it ever be anyway cops are coming man we gotta lose them i can't find tom jones anywhere we got the finishing up my search we got we got efap on us <laughs> Oh, he for the police. <laughs> I like that. The Alpha returns triumphant. Oh my God! I wasn't terminally gay. This is apparently from a woman. What? I, I, I passionate lobster. I'm, apparently, a woman says the Alpha returns triumphant. If only I wasn't terminally gay. Okay. Oh, Jared oh. Actually, okay. Yeah, is that an Pol is it implying that? Yeah, that's definitely implying that, right? Holy fuck, let's go. So, are these just, like, because I remember back in the day, right, I they were, like, 
fans of Jared who were like in the EFAP community. I was one of them. When he threatened to beat his dad's ass and to kill someone on stream, I I didn't want to admit. I didn't want to. I didn't want to accept he was a terrible person at that point. So were these people just that? But st like, cause how did they not or, know or, about the pedophilia? Know, that or they're ironically trolling him. Let's just hope it's that. Maybe all of them are. The only logical thing is that if oh all of them God, are pedophiles, but I doubt it. Light the beacon! Right, DP and Shabasky must church. be informed. The greasy boy has returned. <laughs> that's definitely oh. a troll comment. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, that's not how I expected that to end. <laughs> Why are you seven? <laughs> the greaser man. The greaser man. The greasy he boy. He would always be greasy. I said, Oh my god. Like, Why only, are you saying It's funny because only we would get that. Oh, get what? About the grease thing? Yeah, because he would always be. He would never take a shower and he'd be greasy as hell. We did it, player. Yeah. Oh, and he would be shirtless. Oh, oh, Don't think oh, I'm finished with you time. yet, though. I'm holding a meeting at the church. Swing by when you can. Alright, we took over the saint. We. Oh, wait, oh. Divide and conquer. Alright, here's the big speech of the game. We just got we just got done with the Listen up people. Act. I got some serious shit to discuss. Okay. Yeah, we cleared out the road. You think for a second that's gonna stop them? Unless we wipe all these motherfuckers out, they're gonna keep coming. And they ain't gonna be happy. It ain't gonna be settled until the Canales, the Rollers, and the Vice Kings ain't nothing but a memory. Dex, you got the Canales. Ever since they hooked up with the Colombians, it's like they own this town. And with that drug money rolling in, we can't compete. Be smart how you move against them. The Lopez family been running that gang for 30 years. There's a reason they're still around. Got it. Troy, you dealing with the Vice Kings. Not a chance. Fuck you say? Anyone but them. You scared of going against Benjamin King? Man, fuck that. I'll take King out. Johnny, it's not that simple. Bullets still kill motherfuckers, right? Doesn't get much simpler than that. Keep an eye on your boy. I don't need a fucking babysitter, Julius. Keep an eye on your boy. Who's got the rollers? I do. Lynn? The fuck you wearing blue for? I asked Lynn to hook up with the Rollers. We don't know much about these fuckers, so I wanted one of us on the inside. I didn't think the Rollers pimped hoes. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Any other comments? Yeah, when you punch, don't throw your shoulder so much. Shut up, Johnny. Hey, I'm just saying. Once we're done here, go talk to one of these guys. They'll have something for you to do. It's our time now. Let's get this shit started. Okay. All right, we took over Saint Row. Now it's our complete area. Um, it's ours now. But uh, yeah, didn't expect it to happen that early in the game. Uh, but well, that that's we that's well that we have a whole bunch to take care of. But uh, yeah, obviously the Dirt Street Saints the streets called Saints Row. But we're gonna right. go back in the crib and. Then right. We can finish what you're saying, but yeah, now we can take out whatever game we want first. So I don't. Oh, I, cool. I have no clue who we're gonna start off first, but we can talk about it. Probably. All right, all right. We have to decide. It's Jared. It's between Jared, Phil, and Wings, right? Yeah. Like what? Uh, what? Who will we want to take out first? Ironically, like what? Maybe, maybe. Jared, I guess he's the he's the pe he's well. Wings is also a pedophile, though. I think the age of consent should be twelve. Or I did say the age of consent should be twelve. Oh, I guess Lord. Wing Wings thinks it should be twelve, but Jared thinks it should be nine. I guess, or there shouldn't be one at all. So I think Jared is worse, but Wings also like beat up his dog and like probably beat up his grandma and shit. And he like laughed about killing his pets and throwing them in the fucking swamp or whatever. I don't want. And he's racist. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, uh, was he so horrible? <laughs> Alright, you know what? Let's settle it like this, maybe. Uh, fuck, Mary, kill, Jared, Phil, and Wings, fanboy. Let's go. Uh, okay, so, Jared or Wings? No, uh, no. Yeah, answer the question. Uh, it's important. Jared. 
kill we kill Jared. Kill Jared. Okay. What about the other two? Uh. <laughs> Killing it, is wrong, by the way. Yeah, yeah. We're we're talking about the video game. <laughs> uh, uh, Dana Wingo. We go after Wingo, aka the the lost Wingarles. <laughs> The Lost Wingarles and Jared's is the West Side Jared, Jared, no, 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 Jared Rollers. Yeah, it's funny because Phil, Jared Side Phil Rollers, like, <laughs> Phil is called funny. the the, the <laughs> uh, DSP Kings. I don't know DSP Games. Uh, the Kojima Killers, because remember. Yeah. He's like, God damn it, Kojima. Kojima did Kojima's it Kojima's a fucking cock shucker. That's what, like, what he said. But we'll definitely get, de we'll definitely do that next, uh, next part. Yeah, um, right, oh wait, what about the question, though? Okay, fanboy. Fuck, Mary, kill, Jared, Phil, and Wings. Uh, wait, fuck, Mary, kill? Yeah, which one? Okay, I'd... uh... Okay, I would, uh... I would rather fuck DSP... <laughs> actually... actually, no, no, wait, no, I would marry... Oh, actually, oh, this fucking sucks, man. <laughs> uh, uh th this is me right now. I'm on the ground. This is me. <laughs> I'd rather be dead. That's me running away. Mm. Alright, I would... Oh, man. Ah! <laughs> I, would, I would kill uh, Wings. Oh, okay. I would take... I'll bite the bullet <laughs> and fuck Jared. Ah! <laughs> and very DSP. <laughs> I'm, well, biting, I'm biting the bullet. I don't know, man. It's better than having to marry Jared. Imagine being living with Jared for the rest of your life. Imagine having sex with Jared. Yeah, that's why I said bite the bullet. Yeah. That really is a bite the bullet moment. <laughs> you know, Jared is like the youngest out of the three. Like, I think he's still in his 20s or early 30s. So, uh, yeah, I guess he is the best choice. Uh, he looks the best, I think, probably. Ugh. <sighs> Now your turn, Deep. sheep. Yeah. Your oh turn. God. This is how we're ending I, this part. Yep. I think I would probably would want to marry Phil too, to be honest. Somehow, even though we know, how, like, he literally was like, "My girlfriend is sick. Uh, I, I, she has to go make dinner." And like when he, when she broke up with him, uh, he was like, "Man, she was attractive. She made food. I miss her." And that's literally what he the, that's uh, literally what he missed about her was uh, her making man, food. I missed that food, man. Yeah, and like apparently he wouldn't let her go to the hospital or something because it's too expensive or something like that. But like he's no, 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 a piece no. of he 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 got her to the hospital, right? And basically the entire time he did not like he didn't want to be there. He didn't give a shit about her health. He just like he was just like oh fuck yeah, the whole world's against me look at this shit. Yeah, there was like an animated version of the story. Yeah, was, yeah props to the, the whoever made that. Yeah, um, like like he would like he's so bad, right? But like he would he's clearly the best option for marriage because. Like, I don't know, we could probably play video games or something. It would probably, like, it could probably work somewhat. I, I don't know. Like, yeah. he's not good, he's not a pedophile, as far as I know. And he's not, like, he's not, like, all the things Wings are, is. So, yeah, marry Phil. And, um, well, I, I guess... I, I, the sex one, this is hard, because, like, I really... I really don't like Jared, man. But and, and but the way you must pick one. <laughs> I. How oh, do you think about this? So, like, Jared, what would what would having sex with these people be like? Like, what would they say? You know, that's the question. Uh, I'm not even sure. Uh, oh my god. 
that Jared would probably say stuff like, I'm your alpha, little girl. Uh, Call me daddy. That's probably his thing, because he loves uh, calling himself an alpha male. Uh, Wings uh, uh, would be... Uh, uh. <laughs> Wings, Wings would be... He doesn't even really have as much personality in the same way Jared does. Like, I'm not even sure what he would say. Um, hmm... Mm. Wings would probably be like too like I think Jared would be like really into it, you know? Like, like Yes! Finally! Each time! But Wings and Phil too. I think they would be this week like apathetic about it. Yeah, Wings like, would oh. be like, man, that shit just makes me tired. Exactly, exactly. Exactly. Which, you know what? That's why I'm going to say sex with wings. Uh, because it would, uh, it, would probably, it would probably be less creepy a little bit. And also, I might be able to, like, annoy him somehow. And he all... Jared, yeah, just kill him. He's dead. He's gone. You know what? I, I killed wings. You killed Jared. <laughs> after, we fo- <laughs> after we fucked him. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh, do, you, do you want to have a, deb- a debate about this subject? No, I, I want to... I, uh, I want to never know anymore. <laughs> I, I don't care anymore. <laughs> Alright, we should... What outfit should we wear? Mm. What looks cool on us? Boxers. I like that underwear. Santa pants. Do any of these look like clothes they would wear? Who? I do like the Santa pants. Uh, any of them. You know, any the, three of the them. Saints? No, uh, Jared, Wings, and Phil. Do any of these clothes look like things they would wear? I don't even know what they would wear. Oh, they'll wear a fest. Yeah, you would. Jared would go with the shirtless option. Yeah, what's the fest? None of these look like fest. Oh, th- this could be a fest. I think. Man, there's no damn fest. I think he likes the black and yellow kind of color scheme. Phil, I mean. I could see him. We got it. There's no fest, man. I think no. he might have wore, wore like a Santa costume once, Phil. I'm not sure. This is our pimp outfit. God, I'll be pimping with that. Man, there's so many options, so. This is really cool. It is. Now the green reminds me of like Ben 10. <laughs> yeah. I kind of want to wear the white or the purple. Yeah, I understand. Anyway. You have a good day now. Oh wait. Why are you why are you 70 pounds heavier if you're eating healthy? Someone says on Jared's video. Uh no, I am. Wait, what? Well, <laughs> okay. Jared says not seventy pounds heavier, dude. Well, that's funny that you thin so. Then someone says, "Bruh, you gained so much weight. You probably ninety pounds heavier. That double chin of yours says it all." <laughs> and then Jared says, "Get a life, Chris. You're almost forty, man. <laughs> Get a life, Chris." <laughs> And then apparently Tom Jones said something, and Jared says, is definitely not. Probably why they all have brain damage. Um, by the way, the person he's talking to gro- is Gogu Boy. Like, how does he know he's Chris? We were making jokes about Jared, like, he would be paranoid about Chris at all times. Like, Chris. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> They won't allow yeah. me to get ice cream any- Just... at the children's ice cream shop anymore. Must be Chris doing. But no, he's actually like that, apparently. 
ironically. Oh, oh, Goku boy says, bruh, you so obsessed with Chris, you probably want to kiss his ass. I guess ass. And then Goku boy says to Tom Jones, keep defending your boyfriend. Ha <laughs> <laughs> uh, ha! Any anyway... Tom Jones has deleted all of his comments, but I'm going to try to message him anyway. Um. Ooh, look into hold on, yeah, yeah, and let me go find it. All right, this looks good for now. Yeah, I as the kids would be saying, we're pimping. <laughs> Jared would probably say that unironically. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? All right. Alright, we're definitely ending the part when I get back to the safe house. Oh my god! Okay, so someone just said, um, I'm just gonna say it. If you wanna stay happy, you absolutely have to stop making videos entirely. I'm happy to see you're doing better, but trolls will come back and things won't get better. They'll go right back to the way they were. So I'd love to see you do more videos, but I know what will happen. It won't do my heart any good if I don't warn you. What do you mean, what will happen? I'm confused, but happy holidays, buddy. And then uh, Jared says... The Judgment oh, Day. The judgment yeah. Day will happen. Yeah, anyway, that's funny, but Jared says, I appreciate your concern, but the trolls honestly don't bother me, dude. They... Wait for this. They just want to be me. <laughs> Ego aside, it's actually nice to see in a way. For one... You definitely do hate the trolls, because that's mainly what you even talk about. And, um... And that's mainly what you were talking about. Prove me wrong, but... Anyway, we want to be you? No. No. No! I don't know. No! <laughs> no! I'm, I'm, I'm turning into Jared. Yeah, what's up, guys? Jared Genesis here. <laughs> I have to hear that all the time when I answer my channel. The Last Jedi, right? Yo, 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 yo. Yo, 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 yo. Yo, 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 yo. What's up, guys? Jared Genesis here. Got another review. That's how he said it. All right. Thanks. If anyone is still watching this, thank you for watching us get to this point in the game. Let us know if you want to see us play uh, more Sanctro and talking more sh shit about the farm cast. I guess we're. Or do I guess we can dump name this uh, the gaming entirely, farm cast, but gaming. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> and rapid fire Killo is online. Look at that. Hello, rapid fire Killo. Yeah, here. don't run away from Jared, man. Uh, but yeah. Don't worry, I think he's overage, so he has nothing to worry about. Yeah, so, uh, I guess we'll- oh, there's a dead cop here. Jared- wait, no, Jared is gonna kill someone. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, this guy probably saw a Jared video, or a Wings video. And, with like, like, like how he had his hand up, he was traumatized. <laughs> <laughs> Rest in peace to this fallen officer. Yeah, you tried to save us from Jared. Anyway, I, I guess if we're wrapping it up here, uh, I don't know. Have a good day. Thank you for watching. <laughs> That's basically it. <laughs> I if, I don't know if anyone actually is watching this and enjoying it, then I don't know. Yeah, uh, just thank, let us know. I guess. Thank you. The comment section made, is always there. We'll be there. We'll wait. Maybe you could... Yeah, I always read them. Maybe you could suggest things for us to talk about or something. I don't know. Because it's kind of more of a rambling thing. Um, anyway, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Catch you all later.